Kevin kept giving me advice, and it was terrible advice. That's why I was getting all mad. <laughs> oh, I love, I right, love yeah, Katan. All right, buddy. <laughs> You're leading? Yeah, we're back. <laughs> I'm back doing the intros, everyone. I know you love them. I know you missed them. <laughs> Sandcast podcast. Woo. It has begun. We got Kyle and Tim here. <laughs> Me and Sav are running the show today. We figure, you Trav's know. Trav's out. Trav's out. He's, He's been coaching me too much. I've seen him's face way too much. <laughs> A little too sick of him at this point. He's only like four feet away from me, <laughs> offset. But we figure, you know, we had five people and four mics and, you know. You're out of here, coach. <laughs> uh, but I feel pressure guys, from you, like just observing over there. It is a lot <laughs> of okay? pressure. Two of you are taking over. Well, Travis is usually the one that holds it all together and like keeps us on mm -hmm. subject. Mm -hmm. So our listeners are kind of panicking right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so who gets the stuff? Me and Try is scatterbrain. We're like, what are we doing? Yeah. We Luckily, we got some solid minded guests on the show today especially a lawyer we have a lawyer right so, we have an analytical trying. analytical brain we're gonna we're gonna look to you if we lose All topic right. here we're just get Tim. you back on the agenda Tim, yeah exactly dude it's the first time uh we've had you guys on the show together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. welcome thank you thank you we got a new uh studio oh it's beautiful right have you been you've been in the new studio I've but not the, the new studio not the background not the background yeah i think the wood is new since i was here last yeah, yeah you like um, what i did with it i think you did great. i think you did great i mean right? i think gabby did great <coughs> but same thing Has gabby did any of that too recently ish i haven't been here in a bit it just got, looks so good it's right all now. upgraded it yeah so it's all upgraded so it's that tells me sandcast is doing well it is thriving <laughs> thanks to our Beautiful listeners. Thank you guys. Shout out to Shout our out listeners. To listeners. Uh, we're trying to keep upgrading the quality of our mics and whatnot because we know audio is always tricky. It right. sounds really easy, right? You just record it and make sure the audio is good and post it. Harder than you think. Technology is not my A thing. Apparently, yeah. the mics have to be plugged in every that's, time. That's important. <laughs> you would have thought. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Little things. Exactly. <laughs> but guys, I'm, you know what? I'm just just double, check. Check. I, I double check the mics, oh my God. but um, <laughs> guys, we're coming off a win, right? Yeah, we got a little. I guess it's is that still preseason? We had a little North Seco playoff here. You guys took the the W. Took the How dub. does it feel to start the year on a dub? Good. I mean, it was we hadn't been playing all that much going into it, so a lot of it was coming in just get reps and right. get flowing for season because. We knew that with the schedule this year, we had a little extra time. So yeah. we, we weren't super rushed to get mm -hmm. out there this year and then went and played. And, you know, won't say we played great, but we played good enough to get the wins. And so, yeah, it was, it was a fun tournament. Definitely. Those tournaments are always tough. Yeah. You know, you have a lot of these teams who play AVP and whether they're in the main draw or just in the qualifier, higher qualifier teams are like tough events. Sometimes you go to North Seca and these qualifiers are tougher. Um, yeah, which, oh, 100%. Is, which is crazy. At least the overall quality is yeah. harder at these qualifiers. Only one U.S. team came out of this one. Two. two, one to two, but it'll be two. Right, usually, okay. usually okay. one okay. to two. two. Um, yeah, and for Tim and I, of all the Norsekas we play the last year or two, we've never which is a lot, which is a good <laughs> amount. We've done some uh, Norsekas are fun. Usually, you get more good stories out of Norsekas. There, there, I have. I have lots of stories. <laughs> They're a better return on your investment than a futures, um, yeah. you know? And so when you look at it like that, you get a free hotel, you get food, um, you're making more money there. You can split two grand for first. Mm -hmm. um, you, you make double the money if you win. Yeah, double the money. So if I want to fly to a futures in Europe or fly close to Central America or... That's a great point. You know, so granted, you, the point... At first, the points from first at the futures to the North Seca are just a little bit it's less. Forty difference. Yeah, it's forty difference. Uh, so it's two hundred versus one hundred and sixty. Right. But in the grand scheme of things, it's it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, of all the ones we've played, the qualifiers, we've never won a qualifier. That's what before. you said. Uh -huh. you, you, you finished, uh -huh. and you were like, "We actually won one." <laughs> yeah. So, I've, I've played probably twenty of those qualifiers. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle and I have played a good eight together yeah. and uh -huh. we've always gotten second together we've uh -huh. maybe like more worse one or third worse. we've gotten like a fifth <laughs> yeah. a third <laughs> and we've got in plenty of seconds and we never won one so it felt good to like oh, okay yeah we got a win we yeah. finally got a win now i can retire from nurse <laughs> yeah right i wish i wish yeah so it was a good start to the season and like tim was saying we you know trying to get some tournament reps when possible and yeah. 
this first one in Dominican Republic, April 4th, will be like a good prep to get some actual quality reps. And then sure. our plan is to go to Guadalajara uh, right after that and try mm-hmm. to jump to that one as close as it gets for you guys are a in challenger. For that one, right? Yeah. We, we should be. Yesterday. I think it closes today. Yeah. I think when oh, I looked okay, yesterday, nice. we should be in. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Fans will, uh, the fans will know by the time this gets aired. This comes aired. Yes. Yeah, so. so, hopefully, we're in. Hopefully, we're in. I yeah. think we are. But yeah. Mexico is also, I think, one of the most fun places to play. Yeah. Trav and I did a little Mexico stint back in the oh, day. Oh, that's right. I when remember we played that together, partnership. pre-playing with Kyle when yeah. Trav and I were going. We did You two. guys went on a serious run yeah. for a while there. We we played a together for what, six months, lefty, I think, Trav? Lefty, yeah. Oh um, yeah. Something like that. Played a bunch of tournaments, but two or three in Mexico and it's so fun. The fans are just cool there. Uh, yeah. And the Norsegas are just so fun too. I was just talking to Tim earlier in the gym. We have uh Jake McNeil and uh Alex Russell's that is his actual name. Yeah. We call him Russ. The two Canadian boys, they're going to the Norseka too. And then Abby and I qualified and Evan and Wyatt. So it's just like Oh yeah. It's oh, a really fun really group. Really fun. Sick. And Ka- who uh we lost to Kylie and Haley. It'll just be like a super fun group of people at this Norsega. So oh, yeah. I'm stoked. We're gonna be thriving at the did you see the email about the the Olympico the hotel? hostel? I have not. Have when the, when the description like is hostel, hostel, it is questionable. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> not the best start <laughs> because the last couple of Norsecas we've been to, it's like an all inclusive uh, in Dominican. In, in, in Dominican, Dominican. easy. You right. go there, food's all there. You walk to the courts. You walk back to the all inclusive. So Everything's awesome. there. It's so yeah. easy. Yeah. This one looked like a sport hotel Ooh. with. Mm, Bare minimum. Sport hotels never. No. Never so, and especially in Santa Domingo, which island. is not on the beach. Yeah. So yeah. I'm oh, curious. I didn't really look too far into it, but Ooh, yeah, it's those... definitely not the all inclusives that we've stayed at there before. So, you know, Norsecas yeah. are all about adversity. Adventures. Right? Exactly. So, adventures. I mean, the first Norsec I ever played was in Cuba. And for one night, our hotel had no running water. For two nights, we had no power. <laughs> We and they don't want you to drink the water. Stayed an hour and a half from the venue. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cut my knee, got a knee oh, infection. No. Oh, it was no. like the craziest trip, right? <laughs> a dog got into our room and shit on the floor. No. <laughs> yeah. So our doorknob <laughs> fell off. Like it, the craziest stuff happens at Norsecas, right? Yeah. We played in 2022, we played in a hurricane, like an actual hurricane. Yeah, we did. Um, in Nicaragua and then got stuck in the country. Almost missed okay. my first midterm of law school. See? You know, I, so all I had to hear was Norseka. And I'm always, like, you know, there's this a sounds story. Like a <laughs> great story. I'm going to take this whole time and just listen to this story. I mean, <laughs> thank goodness we'll have Evan Sab there. Uh-huh. And oh, yeah, you guys got a crew. Abby, like, we'll have a crew. Good so, yeah. you know, it'll be fun regardless of the conditions or anything like that. You know, we get to play ball. Just like so. some decent water, so a I decent. Know. That's, bed that's why cuba and decent food and and you can you survive that's fine we can survive you yeah. know like just be able to feed us and our stomachs will survive for the weekend oh, we've got i some mean tough stomach <laughs> bugs yeah, that's, the, that's the risk yeah, that's exactly. the adversity for norseka <laughs> is the stomach challenges or the yeah. food um, one person gets it and then everyone's like what what did you eat uh, which uh-huh. which things yeah. and, uh, oh do i no, risk it there's no med staff at norseka's right and yeah. so my parents are er docs and so they send me with this huge med bag every time i get so the one doc. and so Jake, I've Evans come for stuff before. Yeah, like sure. everyone comes knocking. Corinne, 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 and Skirm. Corinne like, I'm not a doctor. Last year. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, but you're, yeah. you're in law school. I got so lots of meds. The closest, <laughs> yeah. and you got meds. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know about Cuba is on the list that we qualified for, and I think we're leaning towards not going to Cuba. Are you thinking of doing that one? I think we're gonna do the first three. Oh, before nice. the fourth one, that it was crazy. It qualified you for four events. I know I like, it changed because it was supposed to be three, and then yeah, it changed to four. Um, but the fourth event, it ends like two days before. Huntington. It's the day before the qualifier and two days before the event starts. So I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah we're not going to do that one either. It's, one. There's no. It's it's so risky to play in Orsica because you can get sick. The conditions are tough. You can get hurt, yeah. and so it's. With how important every AVP event is this year, it like doesn't make sense to play Norseka super close to an AVP. Yeah. Right. Right. Because I guess to qualify for the league and all that, it's yeah. your two of three. Yeah. You only get three shots at it. If yeah. you're if you're out for one, then you're banking on two. Yeah. You're only gonna get harder. People are only gonna get better from the first to the totally. third, right? Totally. So it, it makes sense to be as healthy as possible yeah. going into the first Huntington event and not, yeah. not put yourself in a situation that's gonna that's going to potentially compromise that. At least that's how I've, yeah. I've been thinking about no, that's it. That's what I was going to totally. say is like, what's everyone's commitment level to the world tour slash Norseka? Because there is some, uh, for what, challengers, I think, mm-hmm. there is almost some overlap where there's four events in a row for Huntington. So like, 
teams in my position are definitely going to have to make that decision of whether we want to play in right. Huntington. And then you have to go banking on just your two finishes. Just Manhattan, assuming Chicago. you stay healthy and like, yeah, assuming you're you can throw away your point. whole league series yeah. if you mess up or yeah. even take a, you know, take a ninth or a 13th. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, come on or two bad matches and then all of a sudden you're not in the league. Uh -huh. It's a pretty high pressure AVP year. It's yeah. kind of yeah. crazy. Yeah. For us, it's like, or we could potentially like be within striking range at that mm -hmm. point and, and throw away our chance. Uh -huh to like catch up to these guys. I feel like right. the good news is for you guys, like if you commit to all the FIVB stuff, there are, I think it's two wild cards per gender. Which, oh, that's true. true. Which puts good someone point. like you guys at a, at a, like if they're like, okay, these guys, like mm -hmm. we want Try and Kane yeah, yeah, in the yeah. draft. Like yeah, these are people for we sure. want. Or like that's say right. Kelly and Sarah, they want to take a break and go live their life after, I'm sure they'll want to play Manhattan. So for like, sure, yeah. I yeah. think mm -hmm. that's probably what that wild card. Yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, point. Yeah. That's, that's a good point. I did about that. But for like us, it's like you don't, you don't know. It's yeah. kinda, and for it's you never know. For us at this point, like international is a big focus of mine. It's always been a big yeah, focus of mine. Sure. But this year, to me, is kind of a wash yeah. year because we're obviously not in the Olympic race. And so for us, yeah, I want to go internationally, mm -hmm. but there's no rush to go internationally, right. um, especially with how competitive and stacked these early events are going to be. Yeah. You know, and we have really good points from the end of last year because right. we get the Asia. Asia stops. Yeah, so, so you could almost do that again because I feel like everyone's going to sit out that end of this year for sure. Like, and so that's kind of like part break. of more our, than ever. That's part right, of our thought right. process for yeah. the year. Not yeah, hundred percent. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Was I supposed to? Wait, coach I think, is coach on board? I think you've earned it. I think you've earned it. Am I supposed to say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think we're yeah more focused post Olympics. You know, Guadalajara being so close. Uh, is as close as it gets for a challenger yeah. uh, in your area. Great so and get some reps before Huntington too, yeah, right? It's, it's, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's Huntington. not good to just go into Huntington without having played a tournament. No, you know? I can't so, imagine like if I didn't have an event till like May, yeah. like a, a big one. Yeah, for sure, I'd be playing. Yeah, yeah, and all these. Yeah, because what's the spacing between Guadalajara <clears throat> and Huntington? A month. A month. Right. So it's like we'll it's have a bad. month to get back to the AVP ball. Um, oh my which is God. the other a good amount of time. <laughs> oh yeah, remember that ball? About... Have you been touching that no. ball? Because we have not. No. <laughs> and it's like, oh, this this is great. Like I'm really enjoying. Like I like this ball, you know. And it's like oh, back to after the... we played that North Sacred Quali, I think the next week our first practice back was with an AVP ball, and I might have overpassed like ten to twelve <laughs> balls oh, yeah, it was during that one practice. So you guys prefer bad. the international ball now? Honestly, mm. I don't care. Yeah, I guess I don't. I guess I don't care. I've always yeah. liked the new AVP ball. I think mm -hmm. it's fun to play with. Yeah. yeah, um, I like the ball when I'm playing with it consistently. Whatever ball that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, right. that's how I feel. That I was way. like, I've never, I've actually never heard, and we are biased on this show. Shout out to Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I've never heard anyone say that they prefer the Mikasa yeah. over the Wilson. To be honest, I although I, I actually like it. this newer Mikasa. Yeah. Better than the last one. I agree. Yeah. It just stays truer to its yeah. lines and like it's not you don't want the ball to be the a, deciding factor. Yeah, like like yeah. we don't want it to be a part of the game. Like right. it's like the ref. Like don't Correct. be just don't be a part out. of it. Don't yeah. make yeah. ball just should be making its own decisions. You. Like yeah. Yeah. we already go have where to do you want win. it to go. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. I totally forgot, like, because I've only used Mikasa for this because I'm in the USA group. For however many months now, yeah. and it's I came. I mean, I it's, love the Wilson. I it's think it's different. awesome. But now that I've been playing the Mikasa, I'm like, I'm just I'm so comfortable with it now. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, just how all the international teams feel when they right, all the, just twenty four seven. Yeah, that's all they use. It's yep. so crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at least the Norsek is now are using the new Mikasa as well. Yeah, it's all the same. Last yeah. year they were using the old old Mikasa. Old Mikasa. Year the, before, the year before they were using the, the Moltens, the the balloon Moltens. So, <laughs> and the world is getting on board. You know, Norsek yeah. maybe. Uh, couple of years behind but we're there yeah you know, right. we're getting there <laughs> that's part of the experience they can't change the that part yeah. Of the experience oh. yeah avp i think it's going to be an interesting fun year changes yeah. change is always good yeah what are you guys thoughts on and what what's your current avp ring i think you guys are would be in if it was today is my thought close. well close. so close. we close. you know we came out strong last year like mm -hmm. real strong we got a fifth and a third to start the yep. year well i guess 2022, we finished on a third, got a fifth and a third. Yeah, you guys then, put yourselves strongly on the map. Tough, tough stretch there through the rest yep. of the AVP season. Like mostly ninths. Well, Hunt, Manhattan was a disaster per usual. Expectations um, are a biatch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, leave those at home. The bar high. Yeah. I'm gonna leave those at home. <laughs> Manhattan was tough, and then we got. I don't know. It's we. I don't think 
there's a lot of factors I think that went into us not performing as well the second half of the year. Um, we started running a new system. Mm-hmm. We started trying to do the whole jump setting thing, which in retrospect might not have been the best decision at the time. Super glad we did it. Yeah. And I'm glad we learned those skills. Yep, for sure. Um, but, I mean, I was sharing a coach, so I was yeah, right, you know, been right there you with you exactly guys. exactly what we were feeling, <laughs> yeah. Um, and so we were just trying new things, starting new things, yep. kind of through the middle of the season and didn't really... We played well, but we just couldn't close matches, I guess would be the way sure. that I would, yeah. I would put it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It was not bad volleyball, but not our best volleyball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Unsatisfied. Yeah, 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 yeah. How we felt at the end of mm-hmm. last year, right? You know, AVP wise, and yeah, then, definitely AVP wise. Yeah, and then yeah, we we went to China and got a ninth, which was really cool. Yeah, um, that was super fun. We qualified for something else, or no? Mm. No, we won a Norseka. But... Yeah, we won a Norseka. There you go. Yes. We got lots of trips <laughs> where you lose in the qualifier, and yeah. then you get that yeah. one qualifier, and then you end up getting to the top ten, which was great, super mm-hmm. fun to be able to do that. Um, so yeah, where we are sitting, AVP, like we're 12. prepared. Twelve. I Probably. think maybe really? yeah. Oh, we also that's not where I would have a little put bit of in a, my head, but a yeah. little bit of a I dagger put me with in the like new five uh, or four oh, or five. What a guy! I think I'm at four oh, or five. Wow. Probably we started. We started last year at four? six. Yeah, five or six. We started last year. Uh-huh. I started at one. <laughs> 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 How things change. I'm glad we can all relate here. This yeah. is great. So similar trends. Start the year good, and then at the end of the year, which weren't as high oh. as we started. Right, and so I went to Doha last week. And set the bar low. Set the bar low. So, you know, I can do the opposite. It's upward. only up from here. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to start here, high. You know? League series is at the end of the year. Yeah. So, exactly. it's it's stressful to think about AVP and where we're going to be because yeah. we've been so spoiled. We've been so spoiled. We had one year of main draw, mm. really, pretty much a year and a half that we were automated. Yeah. For the rest of our every, careers. Every event for 22, we had to qualify. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much had to qualify. Crazy. So, I'm like, uh, we've all been the qualifiers for a long time. Um, at least him and I have, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but so this year, it's like, okay, we're going to be in. We might not be in. Compete, train, prepare. Like, we're not in, right? And like you said, expectations mm-hmm. low because the minute, the minute it comes in, then you start screwing yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's easier said I'm than done. I'm fully prepared to be the one seat in the quality. Prepared like, that's like where my head is at. Okay. Is, yeah, I guess. You which know. is yeah. good. You'd rather prepare to be there yeah. mentally. And it's a bonus Definitely. if you're in. If you're in, yeah. 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 So yeah. no idea really. I'm not even going to do the math. Right. I'm not going to stress myself out about it yeah. now. It's not, worth, no. it's not worth. We've got two months. I'm just, sure Evan might know. Yeah, Evan he likes probably to knows. Do the math. He's a human. <laughs> Evan came up no. to me today and tried to talk <laughs> to me about it, and I was like, mm-hmm. Dude, <laughs> not yeah. today, Ev. Not today. My Whoa. brain does not. Li- I mean, we all know this already, but it's like, <laughs> <laughs> why? Like, is there a purpose to knowing this? Yeah. No. No. I'm still so no. I just Especially go out there like and then I'll five, serve six the ball. or seven. Like what's the you know, what's the difference? Yeah, you know, for sure. Right. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting though. I mean, first year of a system, right? And mm-hmm. they're just kind of feeling it out. So <sighs> the other thing is like there's no um like what's the word? Legacy to it? Like what weight does this like winning the AVP championship eventually? Right. It could it, be something because right big. now winning the AVP season the way that they've done it, who wins the season? Who gets team of the year wins the season probably yeah, right? I guess, but that's so. like a week. We don't even have a, a awards <laughs> banquet right now. Yeah. No, we don't. <laughs> so it's like it doesn't carry that much weight. Yeah. Whereas the way that they're setting it up is supposed to be kind of like a, to a championship, like right. an NBA champion. There's a Super mm-hmm. Bowl champion, yeah, whatever. Champion. Well, you know, there's a champion at the which end is of the new. Year. Yeah. So I'm like. It was like interesting. I was at the um, NBA play and t- no, what was that midseason tournament? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, at yeah. the finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And watched like LeBron win it That's with cool. the Lakers and stuff. And I was sh- seeing how hard they were going early yeah. in the year. And I was like, "This is a lot of energy to, to burn." And they did. They fell off the map after For that. Sure, they did. Um, but in his speech after, he was just saying like, "I think he knew he's a legacy guy, obviously, mm-hmm. and he knew it was the first one." And he's like. Mm-hmm. There, there, this tournament might last for years, but there'll only be one first, exactly. and that's us. Yeah. Exactly, that's, that's me, sure. and I can put that's that cool. on my resume or whatever. Uh-huh. It doesn't really matter that much, but I just so curious how much weight this thing is going to carry in the mm-hmm. future. And like, yeah. I mean, I take it now. Like, someone's got to take it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone's got to win it. And like you said, like, how long is this going to go for? Mm-hmm. The other, the other uh, thing that's interesting with AVP is the trend of the past would tell us that whatever systems in place right now right probably won't be the system so if 
<laughs> yeah, if it if it lasts five yeah. years, <laughs> then it's like, oh, remember I won the AVP championship? Yeah, that was the difference. Right. Like the no the COVID year did, when you guys won the yeah, the, the, the cup. Porsche Porsche Cup yeah. Porsche Cup won the know? Porsche. Yeah, well, we got that Porsche. We're, <laughs> we're the really Porsche. excited. I had a buddy. <laughs> I, I had a buddy back home that was genuinely mad at the AVP for not giving me the Porsche because really? yeah, I made it look like it, I, I thought got you it. had won a Porsche. I was impressed. You're welcome, Porsche. First You're of all, <laughs> thanks for nothing. <laughs> Donald said I was walking with him to the final, like outside the stadium. He's like, hey, if you win it, go jump on the Porsche. I was like, I will. Because I, I feel like I maybe I'll put a little pressure on them. So will be like, oh, we don't want to like not give him anything. Like let him drive it for a week or something. <laughs> let him use it. Let him use it for a Which, year. How lame is it that I'm like excited? Oh, I get to drive your Porsche? Like, I'll Rather than like actually winning the car yeah, and yeah. prize money, which normal pro I know. sports do, we should have. Or yeah, uh, as AVP but yeah, football the, players, the Champions really Cup. Get a there can only be one Porsche Cup winner mm -hmm. ever. That's correct. Ever. I I'm just thought of that. Again. Thank you guys. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you're, you're pretty much Big LeBron deal. James. You guys remember kinda... back when I won 100 percent of the Porsche Cups? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> we won the only. The one won and only. The, yeah. But I just. I mean, there's so much with this new system. There's so much uncertainty with partner stuff. Like, no mm -hmm. one wants to commit to partners. Like, mm -hmm. so I just appreciate and respect you guys, like, sticking it out regardless. You're like, I don't know where we're going to be, but, like, we're committed. We're yeah. going to grind right now. And wherever we end up, we end up, which is mm -hmm. just something that not everyone's doing right now. Mm -hmm. And I just, I respect it a lot. And you, it'll put you in a, probably a better position than people who are just pairing to be in the main draw and like there's i was talking to you today there's something to be said about like yeah. just being in the main draw like for me i'm like fighting in the main draw it may be worth doing just because there are only three this three year. events absolutely um but you guys are going to set yourselves up well just with all this you know you've already played a, what a year and a half together a year this how long has it been be like our third i mean we played a full season last yeah, and then like year a half season and then or a i'd say events. like two thirds of the season before that right yeah. 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 yeah so this will be our wow. kind of like our third season i was wow. at least how i've thought about yeah. it this is our third yeah. season together i can't believe it's been that long. i know mm -hmm. longest i've played with someone yeah <laughs> means a lot it means a lot it means a lot oh. so so what's what's harder <laughs> managing Let's get into it <laughs> managing the on-court relationship or the off-court relationship oh. Start you go. I have trouble with the on court, just the on court one. I'm yeah. like glad Gabby does not play volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> um man, I don't know if one has more trouble. I don't I don't really the way I see it, there's not a lot of trouble on either yeah. front. Love, so that's a great place to start. Yeah. Right. I don't think there's trouble on either front. I think so awesome. each one has its own challenges mm -hmm. and um things we get to work on and work through. And now that we've gotten to know each other even better, and like I think now we're living together i just feel like it's very normal off court it feels um i don't know easy normal safe uh great yeah. yeah i feel like now on court we're learning to find ways to push each other more you know every body reaction every every emotion that occurs if you're playing with someone new you're not seeing it all yeah i know exactly how he's feeling i yeah. know what that one swing when he comes back i'm like oh shit okay like he's not happy right now you right, know yeah. so yeah. i think it's um it makes it fun because we can tap into those those things so quickly or or, or clean them up yeah. so efficiently mm -hmm. in the, in the time in mm -hmm. the point okay let's talk about it now instead of after the match or even after the tournament to be like hey i noticed this feeling on the court at this point was this was this true was this how you're feeling because this is what i felt instead of being like listen I see that you're frustrated or I see like you're mad at me. Like what do I need to do? What do I need to fix? Yeah. yeah. That's we, kind of been there's fun. There's like an incentive almost to solve problems quicker. Oh, so 100%. That you don't, so you don't bring them home. You 100%. know what I mean? Like there's an incentive to, okay, like what's going on in the oh, court yeah. right now? Like, yeah. Let's figure that out because uh -huh. it's got to stay on the court, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's and I think awesome, it though. helped yeah. us that we played together for six months before yeah. the off the court relationship started. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we had those boundaries and that, what that relationship looked like what our volleyball relationship looked like. Right. And so I think we know how how to keep the two separate yeah. to a point. Obviously it's yeah. impossible to keep it completely separate, but we know we know how to divide it up and keep them as separate as they can be yeah. so that they don't bleed into one another, yep. I guess is a yeah, good way to put sure. it. Do you notice like there's there's like a different person that comes out on the court? Like for for example, for me, I'm like I rarely tap into on the court crazy try off the court, off the court. Yeah. like i'm a very different speed 
but does that mm. is that the same for you guys or is there like this on the court personas or or is it work so well because you're both just kind of level on both hmm I feel like Kyle's pretty similar. Mm. Like obviously yeah. there's the competitive, from, outs, from outside, there's the competitiveness, that, yeah. but yeah. Kyle's one of the most, I think, level-headed totally. people out there. And right. that's one of the things I respect the most about his game is mm -hmm. that he's mentally probably one of the most stable so people stable. out there. That's true. It <laughs> helps and me out a work. lot. And yeah. It helped me out a lot when I started playing with him yeah. because I was not that. Um, and I'm not that, <laughs> I am not that now, but he's really good at it. And uh -huh. he's just really good at staying level, keeping things light, keeping things fun yeah. while also being super competitive at the same time. Yeah. And so yeah. I think I also see that just in life with him. That's yeah. he's super level headed, but he's always competitive with like little things, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. a little game here, a little game there. He's super competitive, right? but at the same time, level headed and yeah thinks things through. So mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe I'm two different people. I don't know. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. No, I mean, I've had more losses than you, you know, I've played more matches mm -hmm. and, and competed all over and different people and different coaches. So, uh, I think it's only fair that my extra experience has provided more mental stability, if mm -hmm. you will, mm -hmm. not that you're not mentally stable. That's not what I said. What are you trying to say? Don't do I'm this saying you're so, much, uh -oh. you're so much smarter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying what you're, so, you're much smarter. You're so much smarter than me. Uh -huh. I think Thank that you. You yeah. there we go. That we both have areas to grow in the mental side. I think I've, you have more areas to grow in For the sure. mental side. Physically, you're like a freak of nature, you know, um, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I think what's great is the off court, on court blends pretty seamlessly. Yeah. Um, you know, if anything, we have a bad practice, sometimes it'll carry in to home. And then we'll have to be like, all right, all right, like, hey, we're yeah. back. Like, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was practice. That was volley. Yeah. Like, yeah. not a big deal. Right. You know, mm -hmm. but, you know, anytime you have a bad training or you feel like you played poorly, um, that's allowed to sit with you for a second. That's like, that's okay. That's normal. Um, but if it like it starts to affect your, your everyday life and it's like every day you're feeling this, this weight or something like that, then there's a better way to handle it, mm -hmm. you know, for sure. So well, the good thing is we get to share that together and one yeah. of us is down or one of us is up. We can, you know, bring each other up. Yeah. Just like you and Gabs or, or you and Evan, you yeah. know, I mean, you guys, I mean, yeah, you guys have not yeah. the same, but there's uh -huh. some similarities there with yeah. how yeah. much you guys travel together and, all right, I'm gonna let Travis sub go, in. Here. Uh, He's go really loving this ready. conversation. Coach is ready. <laughs> Enjoy yoga. Guys. Um, no, but that I've always like so respected your guys' relationship because I'm like, you know, we are almost as close as you can be in terms of like the volleyball relationship mm -hmm. side of it. The only other people I know of, like in your guys' situations, the my Shrinis, yeah, who also do. I mean. They do a phenomenal job, but they are gnarly. Like they fight, it, but they seem like they have such a great, yeah. healthy relationship off the court. For sure. So yeah. they, you know, I'm sure they've worked super hard to like let like, the off, the on the court stuff happens, and then once they're off the court, like they yeah. have a kid together. You yeah, know, for sure. They're that's totally separate life. Um, but yeah, with Ev, we've had to set total boundaries. Like I was in it. My next question for you guys is: How often <laughs> do you talk about? volleyball when you're like at home because mm. we there's times we're like we'll start talking about it and i'm like okay oh over it yeah <laughs> or like for him he's evan is so mentally stable i am not so i, I own it I'm working on hey, it i'm with you i own it I'm with you. <laughs> we're getting better but like he has to be way more gentle with his words and like how he approaches mm. things and like we've had to have all those conversations which i'm sure you guys have as well mm -hmm. but from an outsider's perspective it does look like you guys transition back and forth to on and off the court relationship so seamlessly. Like you guys do such a good job. So respect to that. But yeah, how often do you guys talk about volleyball? A fair bit, yeah. but yeah. I think we also try and limit it because yeah. I mean, volleyball is a huge part of both of our lives and it's totally. always been a huge part of both of our lives. So naturally. And how you guys met and like. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like volleyball yeah. is a huge part of just who oh, we are. Exactly. Just blend in it, you know, <laughs> but um. I think we at least we'll talk volleyball, but when it comes to like talking team stuff, I think I, we, we really try and limit that yeah. when we're at home. We'll set aside time if we want to watch video or Definitely. this or that. Especially on the road. On the, road, on the road is more different where we're like in game mode, in hotel. Okay, yeah. the foam roll, let's watch film. You know, yeah. Let's talk strat. Let's do this. But yeah, at home, we probably 
could watch a little more film um and get, probably <laughs> probably put put great british bake off on hold <laughs> and watch. That is this such is a, a safe good space. Show. This is a that safe is space. Such a good show, though. Oh um, my gosh, I love it. But <laughs> yeah, no, I think yeah, we 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 still talk volleyball. Like we've been watching Doha, we've been listening to you. Yeah. Like you know, we're watching volleyball if it's on. Um, but we're not like talking strategy All or like day. our game yeah. play, our game. Like hell no, 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 definitely. Not. I think that would healthy, that would be yeah. draining. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, and a big part of like our talks early on when it came to like navigating what this on court off the court relationship was going to look like was it's funny early early on we were like okay you know let's protect the volleyball we're both playing such good volleyball mm -hmm. right now we're having the best results we've ever had yeah. we need to protect that like we need to be okay to step away from off the court and like so naive and like <laughs> looking back on it what a year and a half ago that like crazy that we were saying that and stuff yeah. and mm -hmm. obviously now it's all right how do we have to make sure we're taking care of the off the court relationship yeah. first because at the end of the day that's, that's what's most important what's the most yeah. important and for me a lot of mindset changes have changed because volleyball was my every everything early on and that's what i like i lived breathed nate volleyball yeah and i've had this very big revelation i guess that like <laughs> volleyball is super small right it's super important and it's a huge part of my life but at the end of the day there's so, so much, much that matters more and so i think a big part of our way of handling the both together is making sure that off the court is protected and taken care of no matter what and then all right now we can take care of the on the court yeah. and see where that has to go mm -hmm. it's been so cool yeah. to see how you've changed i've known you however long yeah. how you've just grown in such a positive way as a person like as a person like since being with kyle and um it's just like as your friend it's so awesome mm -hmm. to see because you've always been you were always such a good player but like like i think once you've kind of come out of your shell and like fit, found yourself and like realized that volleyball is not everything and there's more to life you actually started playing better for sure more confidence in so many other areas of it's crazy how confidence translates to mm -hmm. like when you're comfortable mm -hmm. with yourself and confident with what you're doing, how that translates to the court too. But yeah, it's been really, really fun to see mm. for both of you guys. Thanks, yeah. Steph. Yeah, I appreciate course. that. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. it's so fun. I was going to ask what um what the past couple years have been like because like when I remember when uh, you guys came over and you're like, do you have any red wine? I was like, this is a new TB. Like, There's a lot of new things going <laughs> the on. Like, spicy like, margaritas <laughs> gave it away. He's like, Kyle made before we knew oh, they were yeah, together. I forgot about that. He was that. like, yeah, so. Kyle's been making these spicy margaritas. I'm like, they're they have to be like something has to be going on. He's drinking spicy margaritas with Kyle. Like, absolutely. Red flag. You never did that in UCLA. Green flag. Green the green flag. flag. The green flag. Green means go. That at UCLA. Timmy was so innocent. UCLA. I love the new Timmy. Yeah, because I remember so when we were in Cuba and we won. Uh, that was your first medal. Mm -hmm, and first now you have medal. like a whole treasure trove of them. Get on their sake and like Scrooge McDuck, just like Clink, the one thing another we can one. win. <laughs> That's only we can win one thing. At least we can as well <laughs> win it. Yeah. But I remember you had like a sip of mojito, uh -huh. and I was like, Tim has gone wild. Yeah, you. It was funny. Like you were like, you got to take a sip of this champagne. You got to do it. You got to do it. Like it's your first medal. You got to do it. I was like, okay, okay, okay. And then at dinner, you guys were all drinking mojitos, and you're like, come on, you can try a sip. Try a sip. I was like, all right, why not? Uh huh. Yeah. And here we are. But these, we are. I mean, like Sav said, I think there's a, a clear connection between like you finding yourself off the court mm -hmm. and growing into that role. And then all of a sudden it was like your volleyball clicked together. For sure. For sure. And I think there was something about like even those six months that we were playing together before we started dating. I was figuring me out at the same yeah. time and like seeing the example of someone who is out and confident and able to do volleyball and i don't know i just i i don't think i'd really ever been around that and so to see to see somebody like that helps me through a lot of kind of these internal struggles that i was having um and so i think i think there's a obviously i worked really hard and there's a lot of stuff that i put in to make my volleyball really good but there's obviously this mental component that something whether it was confidence or just being comfortable started to click and helps my volleyball out for sure. And then it, I think it's just 
made a huge difference for me, like on and off the court. But um, yeah, it was cool to see and see kind of that that journey a yeah. little bit. It's got to be so cool for you to hear that too. Absolutely, that you helped him just sort of like unlock the That's beast great. of Tim Special, Brewster. You yeah, know, like special. tap into that. You know, like you said inner beast and. You know, I think all I did was just be myself. Um, you know, I, I don't think I just sparked interesting conversations and, you know, shared shared stories about myself and was vulnerable and just, I don't know, just be myself. And then I got to see, because I've known Tim for a very long time mm-hmm. um, and I've seen him play good volleyball. And then, you know, before we got together, he had played that event with Andy Benish in San Texas. Tim, yeah. 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 And I was like, oh, damn, like, he's playing good right now. Like, okay. And to preface before we get to that, like, yeah. I had asked this guy to play so many <laughs> tournaments with me <laughs> over like a two year span. The amount of one stars slash AVP next that I asked Kyle to play in was probably close to 20 and <laughs> Whoa, a lot of rejection. Yeah, for sure. A lot, of, about it. a lot of rejection. Hey, life's about, <laughs> life's about rejection and stepping above it and mm-hmm. coming out stronger. And here we are. And here we, we are. are. Circle. You miss You're... 100% of the shots you don't take. For sure. <laughs> Boy, did I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you knew all along. You knew. Oh, Maybe. Gosh, Who knows? So you knew. Um, oh, but yeah, no, it has been really cool to see how tim was when he first started playing his routine the thing that he used to do the his mental state before going to events the night before the stress that would uh, incur on him the mornings of and the not being able to eat that much in the morning before matches i was like whoa you got a lot <laughs> you got a lot of stuff going on <laughs> <laughs> you can chill out. <laughs> um, and like I, t- like I said, I've been fortunate. I've played volleyball a long time. I've played indoor volleyball over the world and I've played beach a, a ton of volleyball. I've lost a lot of volleyball games. And so I've, I've had to warm up and play a lot of big tournaments, big matches. So over time, you just get better at handling that stuff. And the more I think he got to just see how I operated in those moments and just how comfortable or how normal it could be mm. where it didn't have to be this overwhelming body control taking over like the stress you know part of it was really cool to see and then just start settling into confident tim who was playing good volleyball and knew he was playing good volleyball um, but there's definitely been a, a transition for him which is really cool um, and like i said I, I've, I've seen him play for a long time but in my mind whenever you asked me a i was in the middle of trying to be a defender with you or whoever yeah, i was playing with right. and i like yeah. i didn't i was like oh, i don't want to block right now you know i want to play defense like it's really cool but i don't really want to play defense but also i was like i don't i don't think you're ready at, at mm-hmm. early on in some of the years i was like i really appreciate it you're a super good player i just i don't think i, I would like to find someone different so and then and at one point it was like okay like i know he's ready now like after that San Antonio turn i was like okay mm-hmm. He is, he can side out against the best and he's, he's ready. Like he's a definite viable option. And then I was like, wow, like our, our style of play could work well together. We both ball control, not the biggest guy. And then obviously it was just very, it, it worked seamlessly or it worked very smoothly to start that, mm-hmm. um, that year in 21 or yeah. whatever that was. Like Denver, 22? 22. 22. Denver was, we played one zero. CBVA <laughs> before that, okay. but Denver was our first real yeah. tournament, which yeah. we ended up qualifying for. Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale mm-hmm. I think it was. Which is my first time ever qualifying. Right. So oh that was like gosh. a big deal, you know, mm-hmm. like yeah. that first qualifier win is like huge. And like yeah. it was kind of a different qualifier win because. Yeah. It's a tournament. The tournament. We yeah. got a seventh. And did you, yeah, did you, <laughs> it's weird because <laughs> when you, <laughs> seventh. when you won your ninth place match, did you know? We knew. Okay. So you still had the like, we, we were really qualified. excited. Oh shit, like that's awesome. Yeah, we were, really we were really excited, excited. because okay. it was also one of the hardest day, I will say the hardest day of volleyball I've ever played was day really? one of Denver because the old tour series system was 2014 double Olympic bracket, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes. So you win your first, you lose your second, you're right back to the first round of the yes. loser's right. bracket. So we had our first match against Alex Diaz and um, uh, Angel. Angel, Angel, yes. Angel. Good memory. Beat them in three. So Course we were like, okay, the inside pretty, <laughs> decent, pretty decent first win for us as a team. Great. Okay, yeah. who's next? Lottie and Miles. Mm, okay. Dream draw. Dream, Dream draw. draw. <laughs> Tough. We battled them in two. I think it was 21-19, 21-19 or something. Mm-hmm. And then back to the first round of the loser's bracket we go. And so in that system, you had, they played the first three rounds of the loser's bracket on day one. She had five total. We had so five we played matches. five matches total that day. Three of them went three. In the altitude. Hot. It's hot. Hot and altitude. Three of them went three. 
and oh, I was so, much so beat. And yeah. the last match went three against Hoppy and Diego Perez. Oh yeah, and who were playing really good that tournament, and we pulled it out in three. But it, yeah, was, it was like sun was going the down, relief after like... that match because that was a match going in. I'm like, we should win this match, mm-hmm. um, which is such a bad mindset to have. Oof. But mm-hmm. I'm gonna change that. That's changed. We, we, that's, that's changed, changed <laughs> lately. That, <laughs> that, that was our changed. first tournament together. That's <laughs> changed. Such a bad mindset to go into that match, and so I was stressed, obviously, and so tired. And I, I like to say my fitness is pretty good, and I don't get tired very easily. And that was the most fatigued I've ever been in a match, for sure. Which I do want to commend you. Still, I think that the most any individual has ever single handedly just lugged. My big ass on his back was you and Cuba oh, the in the semis. semifinals. It was so hot. It was a race to the bottom. I beat Bogue to the bottom, but he found a new bottom floor. <laughs> Meanwhile, That's such Tim, a good way to put Tim it. Tim and Hagen are just superheroing one-on-one. And me and Bogue are just complete luggage. <laughs> it was like a hundred plus degrees. Yeah. It's hot. On that Caribbean white sand that just yeah. reflects the heat back into oh, you. Zero so wind. brutal. Zero wind. Yeah. Travis is running up, getting every serve. <laughs> tough, <laughs> tough. I knew when I got, Went I knew when I got blocked because they started on you, and I knew when I got blocked and hit an air. I was like, I just signed my warrant for every ball the rest <laughs> uh-huh. of the day. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh no, they're coming to me! <laughs> it's it's coming, coming back. <laughs> I was like, damn oh. it. That's a bad Such a bad feeling. feeling. <laughs> Such a bad feeling. Yeah. So for you to say that you're tired, <clears throat> that's a big day. Because you weren't tired in Cuba. And no. if you don't get tired in Cuba, you don't get tired anywhere. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah. yeah, that was a hard That was a long day. I just remember yeah. like laying on the ground, putting your feet up against the big giant AVP ball like multiple times. And I was like, I'm like deja vu, like here again <laughs> on the ground with my feet up. And I'm like, what time is it? We're playing again? Like, oh my God. Oh. So it was a fulfilling day because we got that win and we're like, okay, I knew. And, and we then, knew after that win. We knew after That's that. Cool. And the next morning we had like no legs playing Logan and Sean Cook. And I was like, oh my God, I can't jump. Like, I feel like I'm exhausted. But it was like, all right, we qualified. So that was kind of the goal, you know, of that. Go event. for that first yeah. 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 But yeah, It was such a weird vibe because me and JM, it was like 10 o'clock that night. And I texted him. I was like, are, did we do it? Because we, we beat. Uh, Jordan and Diego yeah, yeah, yeah. to make it to the quarterfinals in the winner's bracket. And I was like, I'm doing the math. Am I doing this right? And Jam was like, check oh, we did it. And I was like, his second main draw ever is like the most anticlimactic thing. Right. Jam's not like a big rah-rah yeah. celebratory guy anyway. Yeah. But it, the tour series could be funny because you were like, you got a seventh. But we but you got the off. trickle. Yeah. yeah, We got a little trickle. Yeah. Yeah. trickle that Denver action. one was loaded. It was loaded oh, too. Yeah. So seventh in that was for our first tournament. We were like, okay. Yeah. 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 Obviously want to win and do better, but not a bad place to start. Yeah. Yeah. And the only reason it's funny, fun fact for the listeners, the only reason that we ended up playing together is because you decided to play with the JM. Yeah. Because we were playing together. And then the second we stopped playing together, Kyle was like, oh, I'm grabbing Trav. And he even told me that. And yeah. then you I decided would... to play with JM. Yeah. Oh. And then <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> and then Kyle <laughs> and I, then for Kyle sure. texted me like, should we play? And we were both talking to Lev at the same time. <laughs> We were both like texting Lev simultaneously, trying to get Lev to play with us, and he was like ringing us around. <clears throat> and so we were like, "Why don't we just play together?" Stop. Like, for sure. Screw this. That's like, it's so funny. Tim was then, talking to me, and I was like, "Ah, dude, like, I think I'm gonna play with Trav. Like, I think I'm gonna play with Trav." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, then you were talking to me, and you're like, "Hey, I'm playing with Jam," and I'm like, "Shh." <laughs> oh, my heart. I'm like, "Okay, I'm back on the market. I'm back on the market." Tim, you you available? You play with Uncle Lev? Oh. I don't know if I want to play with Lev. You're gonna play with Lev? And we're like, play with Lev. And then the second, I, the second oh Lev, God. I was, I texted Lev. Sorry, I'm gonna play with Kyle now. He calls me. He's like, I wanted to play with Kyle. <laughs> It's like, then you should have played with them, Lev. Uh, yeah. Well, you guys are welcome. So, yeah, really. Thank you. Thank you, Trav. Thank you, Trav. Thank I you. appreciate it. I feel terrible and awesome at the same time. <laughs> hey, it all worked out. It all worked out. Yeah, because I was sure. going to say, like, I think that you're like one of the greatest partners anyone could have both on the court and one of the best friends off the court. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Because when you look at your BVB, Kyle, like almost everyone you've played with has had at that time the best finish. Thank of their you. career. And yeah. I think that that is a way to know that like that dude is just a good volleyball player, but better than that, he's just like an awesome partner. Mm. You bring the best out of everyone you're around. I appreciate that. Thanks, Trav. So I wanted to commend you on that. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> Emotional <laughs> cast here. Boy. Well, I appreciate that. And like, I haven't had that many partners. 
you know, and like I was saying, uh, I agree. If you're able to, to stick with someone for a longer period of time, obviously there's a ton of benefits to that. Mm -hmm. And I've been fortunate where I had Miles for two years, I had Duncan for a year, I had you for a year pretty much, Um, you know, so great. I've been fortunate to have someone for a long period of time and I have to bounce around and, you know, fight to, okay, you're in the qualifier. Okay, let's play together. We can be in the main draw, you know, something like that. So, and it's, it's a luxury that I kind of forget about at times. Like today we played against Brandon Joyner and, and Berkey and we have our best practice, but I was like showing him some signs, something different. And he was like, what are you showing me? And then Joyner was like, you guys played together before? And I'm like, <laughs> you know, we have played together before. Like Maybe a, once or twice. A lot, you know? <laughs> and that's so, it's so great because there was times during that time you talked about finding a partner, like going to practice and not knowing who you're going to play with. That is a tough place to be. Mm-hmm. And I, we all know that feeling and like being in that limbo is like, it's not draining, fun. it's stressful. And so I'm grateful that I don't have to worry about that. It's to show up and train with my guy and compete. And then we get to work on stuff together, you know, and we almost this is our third season. So like, that's so rad. You know, there's, there's not a lot of better feeling than that. And until something stops working well with us on the court, then we'll make an adjustment. Um, mm-hmm. But until then, like, it's still, we're playing great volleyball yeah. and we're having fun. And so like, that's all that really matters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's, sure. it's always, Kent Steph, as he has a saying that, everything's easier when you're winning mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you guys had your first year was awesome you yeah. qualified for the first time you had a lot of good finishes last year you started out pretty hot fifth in miami third new orleans mm-hmm. yeah and then wow. started as like kind of a string of nights yeah and for you guys like two years ago you'd have been like oh string of nights in the avp <laughs> How, dude I'm, I'm, on, I'm on board it's so funny how it shifts but then yeah one, so once you get that fifth now the goalposts are up here mm-hmm. yeah. what was it like How'd you guys navigate what is quote unquote like a slump Mm -hmm. relative to what you had been doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, I think it was so rad. We were so elated. I think Atlanta getting a seventh, we were like over the moon. It was like unbelievable. We eat the Taylor. Got my first main draw win ever in that tournament. Yeah. That's main draw win ever. And that's a big main draw win Mm -hmm. to get to. Yeah, it was a big main draw win. And so it just seemed like that first year we had no expectations of anything mm-hmm. like Travis, like uh, try was saying earlier is like expectations. You got to keep them low. You know, yeah. we had no expectations. We were, we were young guns, young. He was young. I was something, uh, you know, older, <laughs> but we were, we were a new team. We were a new team. Um, and so no one really had patience for us. We didn't have a lot of patience. We just went out there and competed. And if we got wins, awesome. Yeah. You know, that was great, but we ended up getting some wins and it was like, Oh my God, this is like some wild roller coaster ride. I remember the emotions winning against Cayman, um Theo. Theo in Chicago and just being like, oh my God, like what just happened? We we're sitting on the one seed and now we're already in the top five. We're already gonna yeah. be a fifth at least. Like what? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it was so crazy that feeling. And then of course the next year comes around and you like you're playing good ball, but you start, you have one or two bad matches and you're like, man, like we should be playing better. We should be doing this. Or people and start figuring out like your scouting report a little bit. That's part 100%, of it too. 100%. We're a new team and people don't know how to play us. You know, uh, obviously, you know how to play Tim, you know how to play me, but then you put us together and it's a different, it's a different composition. Um, but then over a year time, you beat some teams, they beat you, you, you start to get a read on teams. And so people start playing better against us. We're not just going out there and like, oh, we're going to get some surprise, some teams, we get some wins. Like, no, like they're scouting us. They know how to play against us. They know what mm-hmm. we like. They know Tim likes a poke back. Oh shoot! I said that. <laughs> no Thanks. one knows. Well, no one knows. <laughs> Shocker! Shocker! Shocker. Um, but yeah, I think you know. Last year we had Leandro all year, and so it was. That was another weird expectation that we set on ourselves yeah. that we hadn't had was that we hired a full time coach for yeah. the whole year. Yeah. For sure, and it was cool to show up to practice five days a week and have someone there to structure, to structure yeah. and run you thing, run you through things, and have a plan for you guys specifically. Like I've never experienced that. I've never really had a coach before. And so it's a luxury to have, and it's expensive. We were fortunate to have a sponsorship, shout out to Mississippi Drug and Alcohol for helping us have a coach. Cause I think that was a total level up for us overall of our mental IQ, our volley IQ, our confidence, our our abilities to learn things I learned that I never learned from Leandro and ways to block and ways to move and ways to score. Um, But at the same time, it put us like, okay, we have a coach, we have all these reps, we're doing this. So we should be having success here. We should be doing this. Um, And so I think it was, it was challenging for us. It was hard at the end, at the end of the year. I think we were just so excited at the beginning of the year to have a coach. And we had try and came on the other side. We had them as practice partners, like the whole year. It was like, wow, we have this 
Olympic caliber yeah. practice team on the other side of the net with us all the time. It was like, wow, like we are really lucky. So, I mean, yeah, I just, you know, it was difficult when the slumps we started losing some games and, um, you know, there's a lot of different factors that went into that. And I guess, you know, we, we handled it as best we could, you know, and kept grinding. We, we grinded regardless. We grinded. Yeah. And I, looking back to our draws on the year, we're tough. Like we, we lost to good teams yeah. that are mm -hmm. just talented volleyball players. And sometimes people outplay you. Were we playing our best volleyball? No. And I think that can be hard too, because you expect so much. We expected so much from ourselves. And so it wasn't the easiest time for us, but regardless, we still were showing up to practice, still playing all these tournaments. Um, post AVP season, I think we had to kind of have a talk of, all right, where are we at? Because that was a tough AVP season and AVP is done. Do we wrap up right now and yeah. just call it quits for the year? Get into, we were, we were burnt out. Mm -hmm. Do we get into mm -hmm. off season mode and then start training for next season early? Or do we push some of this international game? at the end and I thank God we decided to to push the international at the end of the year because we started playing better volleyball again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we found our rhythm, our lightness on the court. We were having fun again. It it was different. AVP season, the the core of AVP season from Huntington through Chicago felt heavy. Yeah. The volleyball felt heavy. Sure. The volleyball felt hard. Yeah. We weren't playing we weren't meeting expectations. We weren't playing how we wanted to play. And being able to find the volleyball we knew we could play and wanted to play through that one Norseka and then the two international we played at the end of the year were rewarding and it put us into a good place going into off season that I think <clears throat> rejuvenated us to start yeah. to start this year. It's always so nice to go into the off season like, kind of content with mm -hmm. how you finished yeah. it. And you guys, even like your last loss in is it Goa? No, oh, or, uh, Thailand, Thailand, Thailand against like, Nicolades. So that was when uh, Miles Partain was living with us. And so he's sitting in his room and all of a sudden I just hear him go, oh, and Dagger. I'm like, are you, are you all right? He goes, dude, have you watched this? And it was when you blocked Nicolades on his head at like, yeah. was it 12, 12 or 13, 12 it was, in the third? They were up 13, 12 in the third. <laughs> and you uh, Kyle just absolutely head. houses it off his head and it's a head cut shot to our side of the court oh, yeah. yeah it was like to tie it up at 13th and rate. that was after some crazy things happened <clears throat> that match we won the first set we played really good on the match I we think. did we did um and they second, were hot they were hot yeah second set 19 we're at 19 serving <sighs> 20 kyle hits like a sick middle jump serve neither of them go for it we're like oh we just got an ace yeah Nicolaitis just sticks out an arm, perfect pass. Like, yeah, was so lucky. wasn't going for it, just said, Oh, shit, let's go yeah. for it. Gets it up, and then they get the point, and then third, back and forth, back and forth, and then that happened. Fuck, so, yeah. but regardless, we played good volleyball, mm -hmm. and we were coming off a good tournament. That's a really good team. Yeah. Th that team right. has more finishes than us. Like, that would have been a good upset, I think, for us. I guess would have mm -hmm. been the way we looked at definitely, it. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's a, like taking a loss like that's always easier to stomach, even though it, it's such a stinger. When yeah. you have, you're like, we did the play to get the 13th. Yeah. So you was just unlucky. <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> volleyball gods. I did what you told me to do. <laughs> I blocked the ball. Right. <laughs> and uh, especially since worst. that was on the back of you guys winning a gnarly qualifier in China. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Because uh -huh. you beat the IA brothers, right? Yeah. yeah. They're good. Yeah. yeah, they're good. Yeah, they are We've, good. We had played them twice already before that um, and, and lost beaten them. both times really? in the qualifier. Mm -hmm. Once in Portugal and then... Australia the year before. The Australia end of the, the year before. Okay. Last tournament. In the, in the main draw. Um, but yeah, they had our number for sure. And so it was really good to beat those guys. And then you, it was a windy day. They just, they just didn't have quite the touch and the ball control that we had that day, which was great. It was like blowing. We're like... Yes. Like, wind like, ball. That's what yeah, we, we love wind perfect. ball. Wind is our friend. Um, and so again, that win was great because, you know, we've flown to Portugal. We lost first round to them. We flew to Edmonton. Edmonton. We lost first round to Hydric Dillier. Yeah. We flew. Those are the two. Those are the two. It's like, yeah. you know, those are demoralizing when you go well, you fly guys, and you played really the well, like run it way back in Doha. Oh, uh, that was the and other went one. to three with uh, Smolov and Smedin. Yeah, that was our first match there too. But we did play good. Yeah, especially after having only played for like two weeks. Oh, jeez, going into that match because yeah. I had a stress fracture in my ankle, 
So I was okay. sidelined. I wasn't allowed to be in the sand for six oh. weeks. That had to have killed you. Killed me. It really, <laughs> it really hurt. Was not what I wanted. Um, and so we only got two weeks in the sand before that tournament. And it was too good of an opportunity to pass yeah, up getting yeah. into Anytime an elite you get qualifier. Into elite, that was sure. kind of weak for an elite qualifier. We're like, okay, we got to go. Yeah. yeah. We got to go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's, we had some tough first round losses. And so to qualify in China was really yeah. good. And then to make a run in the main draw was. Yeah, was in Thailand. And then we, we like had a good mindset to kind of enjoy Thailand and good. go see some elephants. And like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I think it's an important part of this travels. So you're spending lots of money to go over there and play these tournaments. Granted, you're there to play volleyball, but if you don't have the success that you do have, you can't squander the opportunity of where you are and just wallow um, in the self pity. For sure. You know, and obviously losing to a tough team helped that m- move forward into that into that trip. But it was good sending off into the off season like that because I was super burnt out. I was having to play pickleball like twice a week just so I could stay <laughs> active because I just didn't want to practice. I like I'm like Gina. What's we gonna play? Like we gonna play tomorrow? Let's play. You know, I just I Tim can tell you I was just not happy. I wasn't having joyful practices, and like I've always enjoyed practice. Which is I've always different. Yeah, had fun. Him. I didn't care. I practice was just fun for me, and I was just like, I don't want to be here. Like it was like pulling teeth just to be there. So and just because we had traveled all over, we had yeah. nonstop, and all the guys who play on the world tour and people who play a ton and travel, you know, they know the feeling. You know, it just gets you get burnt out, mm-hmm. and it's like stressful. So was thankful to have a, a good end of the season and like a great off season for two months and you know feel rejuvenated and excited to play volleyball you yeah know, which is nice it's good to be excited to be back on the beach it's good to be That's excited the best, it's a good feeling, feeling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i mean i was coaching redondo girls today and they were like man you know it's a nice day today and i'm like you're right it is a really <laughs> nice day today like you guys are out on the beach you know like this is awesome like how fortunate you guys would be out here playing volleyball and it's sunny and it's beautiful right now so yeah. It was always like nice to hear that stuff here, even though I've been on the sand for like five hours today. And Sav knows because she had coast to practice today, and we played against rivals, each, we rivals. played against each other on Tuesday, and it was like you're on the sand for so long so after you nice. practice, and you go to the gym, and then you're coaching for four hours. Like, oh my god, give me out the sun, skin <laughs> yeah. cancer. Yeah, go see your dermatologist. I just went, so go see your dermatologist. I didn't have anything removed, which was good, but she said I definitely have sun damage, and she's pretty much said, "Tough, you will." at some point have some sort of skin cancer. I'm like, okay. I right. feel like right. when you right. like when Thanks. you first sign up for like your first AVP uh, qualifier, you're pretty much signing like, <laughs> I'm also going to have to get some kind yeah, of skin cancer. Yeah. 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 Maybe insurance companies should, should look into a little <laughs> correlation. <laughs> right? I mean, I just, I can't wear a shirt every day, all day. Than for forever, you know, on the sand. I just, it seems uncomfortable. Well, sand. You wear a shirt have, and this. We're so excited. On the opposite, I have to wear a shirt. You have I need to wear something. A shirt. Well, I sweat. Because you're so, so sweaty. Much. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I need something to like. Tuck. You're so sweaty. <laughs> we, went Partners. To, we went to Mexico and he lost 10 pounds. Yeah. Five, after Cuba, like that, I had yeah. lost 20 pounds on the year. Yeah. That's so crazy. And that was yeah. what? In May? That was in May. Yeah. 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 That's a lot of fluctuation. Yeah. I don't lose as much weight coaching. I'm I'm like, D, maybe we got to cut back. <laughs> yeah, that, I have a question. Okay, a question for you is, how's that transition been coaching uh-huh. for you? And, you know, what are you seeing different about the game, maybe uh, for yourself that you've been coaching? Those are good questions. It, uh, I, Man, I feel like the answers to that change like every day. <laughs> yeah. Where I think the biggest surprise is how time consuming coaching is. Because mm-hmm. it, um, like last year when I was playing, Last year, I was just like having fun. It was a pretty stress-free year for me. I was just like, oh, you look fun to play with. I'm play with you. And, mm-hmm. and it was great. And so I didn't really, like once I was done practice, I was checked out. Sure. I was kind of done. Yeah. But when we're done practice and I'm coaching, now I get into like, all right, well, this didn't go well at practice. How can we problem solve that? And so mm-hmm. the rest of the day, and I'm watching film, mm-hmm. and then I'll be like, I don't really know the best way to problem solve this. Let me hit up every coach I know. Hey, here's the problem. How can we fix this? Mm-hmm. And so it's like, so me and Delaney, we talk more about volleyball now than we ever have because really? she's back in like coach mode with me mm. and she loves that she, loves she doesn't that. practice plan, but right. she really likes digging into how to solve problems and stuff. And so it's been a lot more of a mentally engaging thing. Um, it's been a lot of fun though. That's I'm great. sure you like yeah. that with how much oh, you just so love fun. volleyball and yeah. finding the, n- the nitty gritty. And I love the strategy side of things. And it took yeah. a minute to like settle into a role in which I could try to tell try something he did wrong. <laughs> like how am I going to correct try yeah, sure, something yeah, sure. he's doing with volleyball? It's yeah. more about um, Netflix actually did this coaching series 
gosh, it's a playbook for life or something like that. It's a pretty good little docuseries where each episode they do kind of a feature on a coach. Okay. But this uh, Portuguese soccer coach, he's won like 25 championships, but he never played professionally. He's like, mm. I'm not going to teach Ronaldo how to take a free kick. I'm not going to teach Ibrahimovic how to trap a ball with his chest, but I'm going to teach them how to play football together. Mm. And that's, that's I think, cool. the biggest role I've been able it's to like play Ted with trying Lasso. games. To see that. Oh, Ted Lasso over here. Yeah, I think that's the biggest four? role. Because it's like, <laughs> I love that show. That's Shocker. Great. So great. Great. <laughs> great. Yeah, so I'm just like, they're so different emotionally. Right. And like Leandro wasn't going to really be the team therapist mm. last year, but I'm friends with Kim, I'm friends with Try. And I know how they communicate differently. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, why don't you try this with him? We had him take personality tests. Oh, we, wow. we had my father-in-law come like walk him through it because he's like a specialist in that. Which one did you do? The disc. Mm. And I think it's made I've a huge done, difference. I've only done like Enneagram. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. like what I noticed was Kane was treating Try how Kane wants to be talked to if he's struggling. And Try was treating Kane how Try would want to be treated. Mm-hmm. And Try doesn't want to be talked to. And Kane wants to talk through stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so Kane would be talking through a problem and Tri's like, bro, like, I just, let me be quiet. Uh-huh. And Tri would get yeah. quiet and Kane would feel that he was cold yeah, to him. And so yeah. there was like, they're missing each other. So now they know that. And they're like, oh, this is like cool to be aware of that. That's really good. Yeah. yeah and so after, great. when they beat Sam and Dan in the third set in Doha, um, Nick texted me. He's like, they like stuck together through the third set. And I was like, that's the greatest compliment ever. Yeah. But they're like, playing for together. sure yeah yeah yeah. you're getting guys to play together yeah so it's fun like seeing cool. that is super That's fun great. it's stressful i like i had to turn the match off <laughs> one hard and watch i couldn't do it one too. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. i couldn't turn that off because i had to commentate oh yeah <laughs> yeah you were <laughs> oh my god how fortunate for you to go through all the emotions my heart so was live. like beating out here live for the volleyball world <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how did you Oh my gosh! How did you keep it together? Wow. When when Chase or Miles hit that ball out at the end of the second, <laughs> you were like, there was a little bit of just extra excitement in that. He hit it out. He hit it out. <laughs> Super Miles unbiased. Hit it out. We're going three. <laughs> totally unbiased broadcast here, folks. Totally unbiased. Oh yeah, I did my best. To yeah, keep no, I thought it, like, you did as great. professional I as I could. Great. But that one little piece, yeah, like, that's so good. It. It's so good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been fun. I've loved being um, back on the sand because last year, like probably beginning in June or July, I was like, I'm not really excited to be practicing. Yeah. And then now I'm like stoked to get out every day, but it has flipped. So before like playing the tournaments are the most exciting and practice is like kind of a grind. But for a coach, tournaments are the most stressful thing I've ever experienced. The practices, I'm like, all right, sweet. We get to like get better. Two things. Awesome. That's a cool (laughs) transition. Yeah. Change. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, it's just been yeah. fun. That's fun. I'll That's try awesome. to get back in the no jump tour soon. I know. I've asked him like five <laughs> times to play no jump, and he's like, "Sorry, can't do it." <laughs> Want to get him back out there? You got to get him out there. You got to get the reps. Theo says it's helped his game a lot. I th- well, I the way no Theo's jump. playing right now, it's hard to argue. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna Man. swing again? His Thank you. Is... Oh, you're swinging? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> scary. Man, scary good. blocking. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he's playing good. Yeah. The no jump tour is in full swing now. Full swing. Mm-hmm. It's fun. It's been, it was a big part of our off season. This season, off season was Mental playing. Reset. It's fun to watch. It's fun. Yeah. 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 fun to watch. Your body the girls great. have been getting out. You guys have got out once or twice. Uh, yeah, we went out a couple times and then we alternated like training got all it. time and we're all. There's not a lot of interest on the, yeah. on the female side, huh? Definitely less. I mean, there's other people interested. It's just hard to coordinate between all the coaching that everyone does. And I'm beat. I'm tired. Yeah, like, you're beat. So I, it's, it's hard to kind of yeah. coordinate, but it's, it's so fun to play and it's so good for your touch on the ball. Yeah. And it's so fun to watch. Yeah, I, whenever is. Evan plays, I go and watch, and I think it's so fun. Like, yeah. This is awesome. It's fun because the vibes are great. Vibes are great. Yeah, no vibes. one really cares. Yeah. There's like yeah. light money on the table to keep people competitive, yeah. but it's not that much. And There's like some friendly banter. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Trevor came out for the first time the other day. Theo finally got him out. And only because it had been raining for a week. And yeah. Theo said that's the only reason Trevor came out. Or Trevor <laughs> said that's the only reason he came out. But, you know, Trevor's talking smack and mm-hmm. like, he took fourth. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. It was so fun. Like, we don't, I don't care. We're out there playing. Yeah. You want to, it's great. Talk smack. Let's go. Let's have fun. I'm, yeah. I'm standing here chopping you up, you know, whatever. It, it's fun. I and like, Trevor's like game it. doesn't even change without jumping. It doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> He's still hitting that baby line down short or over <laughs> the high line over yeah. you, you know. He's not getting served over there right now. It's like, nope. it's crazy. Yeah. They're playing well. They're playing they well. Are. Yeah, it's cool They're to see. They're a good team. Yeah. yeah. 
What's your guys' plans for the year? Have you like mapped out? Because there's only three AVPs. Are you thinking about, are you going to play the tour series? Well, I guess being on the cusp, we we might have have to. to. I think either way, it obviously we don't know what the money involved is. Yeah. But our plan is we want to play volleyball. Yeah. And so there's not even during that time, there's not really that much international going on either because it's around the Olympics. And so I think we're going to hit international a little at the beginning right now, get ready for AVP, do Huntington. Denver, maybe Wapaka, TBD on that one. Yeah. And then Virginia, Manhattan, Chicago, hopefully all that. And then post that, get back on the international, probably the Asia circuit near the end of the year. Those are the ones to do. Yeah. Like, hardest to get to and kind of never really the most enviable spots to play, Definitely. but yeah. easily the easiest events to get into. For sure. And get some points. For sure. Yeah. And maybe we'll hit, just depending if we want more volleyball or depending how it's all going, maybe there's a future short challenge mid-year will yeah. hit. Um, but kind of our focus is a little international. Let's focus AVP. Let's kind of get our groove back AVP yeah. and yeah. then hit some international yeah. again at the end. And, yeah. and I think yeah, the us. tour series, when we first played that first year, the tour series were hot. Lots of money, lots yeah. of points. We made some good money playing We those. played they them all. Awesome. They were awesome. You were all, all of them. You mm-hmm. played a bunch as well. Like they were great and they were good reps and good competition. And good points, good money. It's a little bit different now with with those last two factors. But when we were playing our best volleyball is when we were playing a lot of volleyball, you know. So there's definitely something to be said about going to these events and mm-hmm. competing and playing against good players and, and testing your might uh, as frequent as possible to help at those two out of three, which are so valuable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's going to be super interesting year. Tight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stressful. Two wild cards. Fun. You know, who gets those? Whoever they want to get those. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm no wondering one. if they're going to give any out at all. I feel like it's the typical AVP wild card sitch where rarely ever gets used unless yeah. April and Alex decide they want exactly. to play or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Something like that. Yeah. So. yeah. That's so what I'm really interested to see is if there's a shakeup like after Huntington. Because after, because then the next is Manhattan, which There's is also so post Olympics. There's yeah. so much time, and so are, are people hard. just gonna like roll Bank the dice, gamble, two. and go for the last two? It could happen, right? Hey, we had a bad tournament. No, I'm done. Let's go. I'm gonna get with this person for the next two. Yeah, you know. There's enough sure. time to prepare. There's enough time to train yeah. and get on a same system. I hadn't system and same about yeah. that. Mm. Yeah, I'm that thinking more like with. I mean, not that like Kristen Taren are gonna split or Kelly and Sarah, but like some of the top players who like might just want to do something fun. Right mm-hmm. and right. play because that's what I was. I think about April a lot. Her 2017 season mm-hmm. when she played with like Kelly Reeves and uh-huh. Whitney Pavlik, Pavlik and just kind of had like the time of her life. Still played great volleyball, played but great. just like I unwound. Yeah, yeah. And I was wondering because the Olympic grind is so stressful. Like seeing what it does to try. I'm like, yeah. man, you just need to have fun. Yeah, again, right. Yeah. And so I wonder if that's going to happen. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's mm. definitely some players out there who need partners and some players who are waiting to hear back. Okay, are you going to do AVP with me? You're going to do international. Like, I'm yeah. looking to do AVP, you know, this and that. So that's what, you know, where are we sitting at 11 or 12? Maybe the old woman, same thing. If you're sitting on the cusp, like, you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen because you don't know who's going to play with who. Well, yeah. yeah. A new point system. Like, everyone's going to kind of wait for that to be solidified to see where they stand, too. Yeah, it's. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Interesting is the word I keep coming back to. It'll yeah. be it'll be a fun <laughs> one. Too. It'll be exciting. <laughs> yeah. Stressful but exciting. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. it's good coverage. Hopefully it's good volleyball. Hopefully there's fans that come out. Yep. Hopefully they can make a couple bucks. Um yeah. Just try to get on the tour. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, Sab, before we go, what's your schedule looking like? <laughs> You're about to take a nap right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're getting cozy I'm in the captain co- chair. Oh, I'm so cozy over here. This has been a very nice evening. But um, I leave next Sunday for a month. I go um, mm-hmm. Brazil. Yeah. We're in. The, oh, the, you're doing Brazil too? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. You get to hang out? Coach you're Travis. Going. Yes. Going. Yes. Yeah, I'm going. So we're doing both. We're still number two on the reserve for the second one. Okay. Uh, but we're going to plan to go because we, ju- we just moved up another spot. So we'll see. And then I go. I actually fly into New Orleans for a couple of days. Um, I'm meeting Abby there to train for a couple of days because uh, Wyatt and Evan are playing Houston. So we'll all kind of meet in New Orleans for a couple mm. of days. It was actually cheapest for me to fly to Miami from uh, Brazil and then pop over to New Orleans instead of going to L.A. Yeah, um, yeah. and closer and then fly to Santa Domingo, hang out with the squad, have a wonderful week. That'll be so fun. Um, and then I fly straight down to Guadalajara to meet Tony again. OK, and you're doing the Brazil's the internationals are with Tony. Mm-hmm. All of them. And then the Orsega's with Abby. OK, yeah. Yep. Squad's back that, together. After that, I uh, 
No idea. <laughs> <laughs> One trip at a time. I'll do the to the next two North Vegas with Abby. Um, and then AVP is, yeah, very up in the air. Like I, I have solid points. I could definitely be in the main draw with someone and I definitely could not be in the main draw. I'm not a blocker. <laughs> so it's kind of like yeah. up in the air. I, 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 me and Tony play really well together. I, I do love playing with Tony. I love playing with Abby. Abby's one of my best friends. And, um, you know, I, I, I really don't know what's going to happen. I, these points are going to shift a little bit. And again, I'm not a blocker, so I don't have much power Remote. like in a weird way the blockers have the power even if they have they, plus points they always have and so it's power. like i just i'm i'm and i'm playing some of my best volleyball i've ever played i feel like i'm in a really good place mentally physically just a lot of things clicking so it kind of wherever i end up like you guys like if i'm in the qualifier then great like let's go grind and then do it um yeah i'd like i would rather not go to china and like late in the year uh i'd love to make the draft i'd love to play fuds I love to like, <laughs> I love that off season. Um, but if the opportunity is good and I need points, like I'll go kind of like mm -hmm. we all would do. So right. yeah, it could be a really long year. Could maybe, you know, we never know. So, but yeah, it's exciting to finally have some competition to like put all the work we've, I've been doing into place and uh, yeah, hope, hope for the best. Hope for some couple qualifying. We're excited to watch and, you and, and cheer for you. Yeah. This was a great night though. And that's yeah. uh, Abby Van Winkle. For the listeners. Abby Van Winkle. I want you to sleep with her. Yes, she's awesome. Love her. Well, boys, where can uh, our listeners follow along and keep up with all the, especially the Norsek adventures? Yes. Norsek adventures coming in hot. Uh, <laughs> Instagram. Cal Instagram. Cal Friend 10. Tim Brewster. Yep. Pretty easy. easy, easy. Are I you will, Tim? I will, Not Timmy? Yeah, Tim. I'll document typical Norsek adventures per usual. I you know. still think you should go back to the real Tim Shady. The real Tim Shady. Oh boy. My sna <laughs> still Never my forget. Snapchat name. <laughs> Can't change that one, unfortunately. Isn't that JD's, JD Hamilton's? The, the real, real Slim, Slim Shady. Shady. Slim real JD, Slim JD, something like that. Yeah. 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 So. Real Tim Shady. Everyone went through their Eminem face. <laughs> <laughs> Can thank Schwingle for that one. It's so good. It's yeah. so good. Boys, it's good to have you back on the pod. Thanks good guys. to have you on together. First yeah. uh, five-person squad. I yeah. came off the bench for this one. Love Fun. It. Lots of firsts Love tonight. It. Yeah. Love recapping. Here. Yeah. yeah. This is good. This is good. Yeah, good to have you back. I wanted to make sure you got back. It's been too long since we had you on the pod. It's like every time we're, like, we're doing a fan question episode, it's just like, oh, I'm in New Orleans. We're doing a fan question episode. Oh, I'm somewhere else. I'm like, all right, we miss you. I miss. <laughs> I miss. I'm very busy. It's nice to be here. I love it. Thanks, boys. Thank you. Thank you, Travis. See you guys. Shoots. See you guys. Right. I was going to say, shoots. There you go. Still on. <laughs>